Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. So, you're curious about Android hacking, let's dive into this. Why Android? Well, because it's everywhere. You've probably got one in your pocket right now. And hackers love Android for the same reason. It's the most popular mobile OS. And its open source nature makes it a prime target for poking around in. Enter Metasploit. It's a tool that's modular, meaning it's built in pieces that you can mix and match depending on what you're testing or breaking into, ethically of course. You can use it to scan, exploit and even execute payloads, which sounds intense but basically means making the target system do something after you find a weakness. Here's how it all works. Exploits are like the skeleton keys that get you into systems by taking advantage of known flaws. Metasploit's got a whole library of them ready to go. After you get in, payloads are the actions you can take. Maybe you want to open a shell or perhaps gain full remote access because why not? Auxiliary modules are like tools in your toolkit, helping with tasks like gathering information or scanning for open ports. And then there's post-exploitation once you've broken in, now what? This is where you do more stuff on the compromise system like checking out files or gaining control over apps. Now if you're struggling to master complex hacking tools like Metasploit, or you might feel like you're jumping between unreliable sources, unsure if you're even learning the right things. Trust me, I've been there, and I've got the solution for you. I've designed a complete ethical hacking course that takes you from absolute beginner to mastering the exact techniques used by professionals. No guesswork, no confusion, just clear detailed lessons that guide you every step of the way. More on this later. Thanks for listening, so why is Android so vulnerable? The big reason is fragmentation. Android runs on millions of devices, and not every manufacturer is on top of their updates. We all know that one person is still running Android 5.1, right? Some devices miss critical security patches, leaving big juicy gaps for exploitation. Plus there's the open source thing. Android's code is out there for anyone to see, including people who like to find weaknesses in it. App permissions? Yeah, don't get me started. A lot of apps ask for way too much access and most people just tap allow without a second thought. And then there's sideloading, installing apps from sources outside Google Play. Sure, you might get that cool app, but you might also get some malware along with it. All right, so you're thinking about actually using Metasploit to poke around in Android. First, we'll need to install it. Depending on your system, the steps are slightly different. For Linux, you'll probably use sudo apt install Metasploit framework. For Windows, you're downloading an installer and going through the usual next next finish routine. On macOS, just open up Homebrew and hit brew install Metasploit. Now let's get malicious. In a legal test environment, of course. We're going to generate a payload using MSF Venom. This payload is like a booby-trapped app in APK form, of course. Once a target installs it, usually through some social engineering trick, they're done for. You'll get a meter preter session, which is basically like having a remote control for their device. Here's what it looks like. First, generate the payload by running something like this. The P tells it the payload. In this case, a reverse TCP shell for Android. Lost is your IP, so the payload knows where to phone home, and L port is the port you're listening on. Then it spits out your malicious APK. Next, set up a listener. Fire up Metasploit by running MSF console. Then choose the handler module with use exploit slash multi slash handler. Set it up to listen for that payload with set payload android slash metapreter slash reverse underscore TCP. Set L host and set L port 4444. Finally, run exploit. Now you're waiting for the victim to install that app and boom you're in. So what can you do once you're inside the Android device? Quite a bit. Here are some cool post-exploitation tricks. You can list files, explore the file system and download or upload files. Want to install apps? Go for it. Need to read their texts? Type dump underscore SMS to get all the stored messages. You can even use the compromised phone to text other people with this command. Steal call logs and contacts with simple commands, or take a sneaky selfie using their phone's camera. But remember, you didn't hear it from me. Before we wrap up, let's talk about something incredibly important. The ethical considerations and legal implications of Android hacking. While learning about Metasploit and its powerful capabilities is exciting, it's crucial to understand the responsibilities that come with it. Gap 1S. Ethical hacking is all about using your skills for good. This means testing systems with permission and helping to fix vulnerabilities rather than exploiting them. Always remember the golden rule, do no harm. 
When you find a security flaw, report it responsibly so it can be fixed. Gap 1. S. Now let's touch on the legal side. Hacking without permission is illegal and can lead to severe consequences, including fines and imprisonment. Each country has its own set of laws governing cyber activities, and it's essential to familiarize yourself with them. Ignorance of the law is not an excuse. Gap 1S. For example, in the UK, the Computer Misuse Act makes it illegal to access or modify data without authorization. Similar laws exist worldwide, and violating them can not only harm others, but also put your future at risk. Gap 1S. Responsible use of Metasploit means using it in controlled environments such as virtual labs or systems where you have explicit permission to test. This ensures that your learning and testing do no unintended damage. Gap 1S. In conclusion, while Metasploit is a powerful tool for learning and improving security, it must be used ethically and legally. Always seek permission, report vulnerabilities responsibly, and stay informed about the laws in your region. Gap 1S. By doing so, you can contribute positively to the cybersecurity community and help make the digital world a safer place for everyone. Gap 1S. Now, let's move on to some essential security tips to protect yourself from potential threats. Now, how do you protect yourself from this? Stay updated by keeping your Android patched to fix vulnerabilities. Don't sideload apps. Stick to Google Play, as the Too Good To Be True app from a random website probably is. Turn on Google Play Protect. It scans for bad apps. Use strong passwords or biometrics, fingerprint, face recognition to lock your device and be wary of links. If something looks suspicious, it probably is. Don't download random files. Let's talk more about the course. And here's where it gets even better. You'll get quizzes along the way to keep you on track. And if you ever feel like you need help, you've got direct access to me through a private Discord community. You can literally ask me anything at any point, and I'm right there to support you. But it doesn't stop there. Every single month, there's a new course covering a different essential hacking skill. Whether it's social engineering, website hacking, network security, reverse engineering, you'll be learning everything. Now, how do you protect yourself from this? Stay updated by keeping your Android patched to fix vulnerabilities. Don't sideload apps. Stick to Google Play, as the Too Good To Be True app from a random website probably is. Turn on Google Play Protect. It scans for bad apps. Use strong passwords or biometrics, fingerprint, face recognition to lock your device and be wary of links. If something looks suspicious, it probably is. Don't download random files. Let's talk more about the course. And here's where it gets even better. You'll get quizzes along the way to keep you on track. And if you ever feel like you need help, you've got direct access to me through a private Discord community. You can literally ask me anything at any point, and I'm right there to support you. But it doesn't stop there. Every single month, there's a new course covering a different essential hacking skill. Whether it's social engineering, website hacking, network security, reverse engineering, you'll be learning everything.